Hey guys, so today I am doing a perfume haul. It's a pretty big one. I got my first big girl job and I also got my first big girl check. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna indulge. I'm going to, I don't know, treat myself. So I got two yoga mats from Society6, but then I also got quite a bit of perfumes. It's clearly not stacked to the brim. That would be very insecure of them for perfume because they're glass bottles, obviously. I don't remember how many I got. I have an idea of like what I got. I've been wanting at least three of these perfumes for like since the beginning of summertime, but they're more autumn fragrance. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna wait until I have a big girl job or it's fall and luckily both of them kind of fell at the same time. So without further ado, let's get started. This was so hard. Literally it came at 9 30 this morning. It was so hard for me not to open it immediately, but I was like for the sake of of a YouTube video. I'm just gonna do an unboxing and you guys are gonna see my very, very first impressions of these fragrances. So hopefully they're good because I think I got quite a bit and virtually all of them are going to be first impressions. Last time I did an indulging shopping spree, I actually did pretty well. So let's see if I do it again. Who knows? So clearly they packed it very well. I see the first one right here. I actually forgot to get little tester strips. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'll be right back. Let's just get started. Ooh. First one is La Petite Rome Noire. This is the original one. So if you know, I have the Entense version. So instead of blueberries, it's going to be um, cherries or raspberries. I'll figure it out. The only one that Fragrance Net had was a 3.3 ounce, so I really hope I like it. But if I don't, I mean, I have a wonderful fragrance community, so I can probably trade it really quickly for something that I might like a little bit better. <laughs> That's, I'm like speaking way too ahead of myself because I haven't even sprayed it yet. So it has been being shipped, ground shipping for a few days, so I'm kind of worried that because of that, they're being shaken and they're kind of in the heat because that happened the last time that I did online shopping for um, fragrances and they smelled awful for the first day and then they kind of got back to its regular self. I'm sorry you guys. This is the bottle. It's really pretty. It looks virtually the exact same. I think it's the same dress as the blue one but instead of blue it's pink. I love this. <laughs> I love this. God I love, I love this. Kind of like the La Petite Rome Noire and my Saint Bon fragrance. I think it's Amaretto et Framboise. It smells like the perfect mixture of that. And also, if you guys are into like Lolita Limpica, I feel like this smells like Lolita Limpica. But I haven't smelled that in like years, so who knows. It just smells like a very clean version of the Saint Bon fragrance. I'm going to sit that right there. I love how I used post-its. That was so smart of me. Now I can stick it on the box. <laughs> so that was, I'm a thinker. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, um, should I go for the, okay, I'll go for the next Galon perfume. So this is La Petite Rome Noire Black Perfecto. I'm going to stop talking because of this. Look how beautiful, the, it looks like leather. They like gave it studs and everything to like make it look like leather. That's so cool. The reason why they made it look like leather is because I think this is supposed to be like La Petite Rome Noire, but with a leather fragrance. So this one looks, oh my God. This one looks bad and bougie. Like this girl's gonna fuck you up. She gonna fuck you up. She wears leather, even though she's naked. <laughs> I'm like so funny. This smells so good. They smell different. So this is La Petite Rome Noire and this is Black Perfecto. So this is a clean Saint-Bon, and then this is a clean um, La Petite Rome Noire. Like the leather just gives it a, a cleaner vibe, but like leather. It's So I was kind of nervous about Black Perfecto because as you guys know, I used to be a perfumer. And the only leather fragrance that we had was this Russian leather fragrance and it smelled awful. So I was really nervous that when they brought up leather that it would be kind of like that oh my gosh you guys the bottle has the studs that were on the box on leather so that's really cute that was a that was a cute deep sale this is 1.6 and this is 3.3 so there is 
quite a bit of a size difference. Luckily, they had the 1.6 for the Black Perfecto because I was very nervous about that leather fragrance and I thought like I could use it as decor but I don't like it because it was literally like 20 bucks. So should I go for the next Guerlain? What the hell is this? Oh, okay. So I'm going to go for the next Guerlain perfume. This is not a La Petite Fauve Noir edition. This is their Encenance. This was so cheap, you guys. I got a beautiful suede, likely faux suede, but suede, a full-size bottle, and a roller-size bottle of Guerlain perfumes for literally 30 bucks. The bag itself is so beautiful. I think it's going to go really well with my acne tote bag because it's literally the same kind of neutral millennial pink. It's going to be really hard to clean though, so I'm probably not going to use it quite a bit. But I don't use my acne bag quite a bit. So, and then here's the rollerball. I'm not going to smell the rollerball. This is so pretty. This is another 1.6 ounce bottle. Same size, different shapes, but they're both 1.6 and they're both from... Guerlain. So this one is supposed to smell like violets. My mother hates violets, so she might not like this fragrance, but I won't give a heck. I don't know why I got this so soon. This is not a fall fragrance at all. This is definitely spring. One of their most popular fragrances when it comes to their line, except for La Petite Tour Noir. This is kind of what I would expect more from Guerlain than La Petite Tour Noir. I feel like La Petite Tour Noir is just like sexy and seductive and Guerlain is more of like a nature loving, like luxury when it comes to like nature, if that makes sense. So they're like very linens, whites, like this is their vibe right here right there this is that and that is this <laughs> and it's just very floral nature it's very unique but simple at the same time like it shouldn't be unique if that makes sense but it is Guerlain you're doing really great three out of three I'm gonna go to this one isn't this the most beautiful thing that you've ever seen I saw the bottle and it's actually really pretty so hopefully it's not one of those bottles that's like pretty online but it looks like trash in real life you know like clothing how some clothing looks like that because of just the price point i don't know i'm kind of nervous about that but she cra oh my lanta oh my gosh wait like what that is so unbelievably pretty. So if you guys are wondering what this fragrance is, because I literally haven't told you, Al Haraman Jeune Noir Pour Femme. And apparently it smells real nice, smells real good. Oh, missed it by a long shot. Oh my God, I can smell it already. And it's like not even close to my nose. Oh my gosh. This is beyond sexy. It's clean, it's sexy, it's warm and inviting. It's like everything that you would want in an autumn fragrance, boom, it is right here. Like this smells like a, like you're not only wearing a knit, like you're wearing like a black shirt with black leather jacket, black jeans, and you have like brown tan skin. Like this is just so comforting to me. This is definitely a favorite for fall. I, I literally can't even like comment on what this is. Damn. Like that's all I can say. It is just damn. I have two more perfumes. I don't know where my last one went. I literally haven't moved. Well, like I've moved, but I haven't moved. Oh, here we go. All right, so I have two more, and I'm gonna go through this one because this one's like collector's edition. So I'm gonna do this one first because I think I, I know that I'll like this one. I don't know if I'll love it, but I know that it's like a like a classic winter perfume. So it'll be like an easy wear, if that makes sense. Like what I said in my tag, like it's gonna be a dumb wear. Like I don't have to think about it. I think I don't have to think about it. First of all, the box. I wish they made the freaking bottle velvet, which would make no sense. Wow. Oh my God, that looks so luxurious. All right, damn Dolce. I feel like this is going to smell like a fragrance that you would smell in Sephora, if that makes sense. Like it, it's not gonna be like anything special, but it's gonna be something. Oh, that smells like straight alcohol. Woo. I'm gonna let that sit. As I said, I was expecting at least one of those, one of these perfumes to kind of have that smell to it because of how much the it's been like traveling and stuff. I'm not complaining about Dolce & Gabbana being succumbed to that. Oh my God, it smells exactly, I mean exactly 
like black perfecto like the same kind of idea of like it's almost the exact same i don't really see any difference between this and black perfecto this is changing a little bit um on the paper which i really like i think i don't know it's not like that that i don't love it like i do love it as i said i love this one they're such beautiful bottles <sighs> oh shit that's okay they smell exactly the- oh, actually, I'm gonna be honest, you guys, if I were to pick one of these, like if I were in the store and I got to pick, I would pick the Black Perfecto one. This one smells exactly the same, but it's less strong, and it's like a dark, sensual, sexy fragrance that you would wear at night, so it's like, why would you want something that's light? Like, why would you want that? <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Like, why would you want something that doesn't really wear well? Like, this is already fading very quickly while this one is still very very strong like everything is intensifying still like it's still coming up with the fragrance that it is on the post-it note which i am a very big fan of if i find someone that would like it better i'm going to keep the bottle i mean i'm going to keep the box but for right now i am going to keep it but the, now they smell completely different yeah they're different now Dolce and Gabbana's Entente Vergence opening smelled exactly like Black Perfectos. This smells safe. This smells very safe. This would be a really good club fragrance because everyone's wearing perfume and like you don't want to wear something like too crazy because like you don't want to give anyone a headache or anything. So I would say that this is like your most safe fragrance if you want to feel sexy. If it's on your wish list and you love Dolce & Gabbana perfumes, definitely get it. It's not a bad perfume. All right, and last but not least, definitely not least, I have a Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique. And I love how they do their packaging, their, their box, but it's more of like an aluminum cylinder. Like, look how beautiful this is. It's just like a, an amazing can. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, she's be she's beautiful. Oh my goodness. She has a little lace up here and it says Gautier on her little rear. I love this bottle. I don't know how this is going to smell. As I said, it is a collector's edition, but the collector's edition is from 2017. So I don't know if they've been storing this very well or... I want to figure out how to get rid of the this little inside and then as well as this part because I want to make this like an actual storage. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't see myself keeping the perfume in here because I would want to display the actual bottle. This was 3.4 ounces. I don't know how much I spent on it. I don't think I spent that much because it was 2017. It's still Jean-Paul Gaultier, so it's going to be a little bit expensive, especially since it's 3.4 ounces. Let's just get started. I have no idea how this smells. It's apparently a cult favorite. I don't think a lot of people that shop at like Sephora or anything go for this perfume, but a lot of people who perfume collect, everyone virtually knows about this perfume. Yeah, sexy. Oh my god. I have, okay, so I have a perfume that's very much like this that I forgot to put in my, um, my perfume collection because it was somewhere else during the time, so sorry about that. But it's called Gilded Lily, and I'll put a picture. It's kind of the same exact vibe of that. It's not the same fragrance at all. This is a little bit more sweet. That one's a little bit more, not sweet, I guess. I don't really know how else to describe it. To me, this one's a little bit more wearable, like I could actually wear this. The other one is just a little bit too old for me, old fashioned. This is a definitely an old fashioned perfume, hence the name Classique. It's going to be like a classic fragrance, something that will stand the test of time. Anyone, any generation will love this fragrance. My battery died, so this time my battery died instead of it timing out, so that's awesome. What was I saying? I don't really see a lot of people my age, to be quite honest, wearing this. However, if I saw someone confidently wearing it my age, like me, it would make sense. Like, it would make a lot of sense. You could wear this any season. Like, I can see this on a summer night or like a fall night. I couldn't really see this in the springtime, but I do see it from summer through winter, for sure. A classic, a classic fragrance. All right guys, so that is it. Yes, I got six perfumes. 
Do I regret any of them? No. These are fragrances. I've wanted Black Perfecto, La Petite Robe Noir, and Dolce & Gabbana's Intense since the beginning of summer. And just like En Silence, I was not in the mindset and I didn't have the money. So I waited until fall. And I'm so glad that I did a first impressions with you guys because you guys got to come along with me and not smell them with me, but hear my commentary on my first impressions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or you guys just feel like talking, leave some comments down below. Give this video a like and please subscribe so I can see you in the next one. Peace.